everyone silver joker here okay so i'm on my way to uh, my local coin store uh, i'm going to see phil um, it's been a while i know i've been very busy it's been a while since i posted a video but i'm on my way to see phil now and i got a surprise for him i got a surprise for you i got something very interesting very interesting that i want to show him and i phil's been doing this for a long time and if you guys have followed my channel you know i've shown you inside of his his um shop and he's got a lot of very interesting things inside of his shop and so it's it's probably gonna take a lot to impress phil but i think i got something today that's going to impress him at least i hope it is so we'll both see his reaction together and see just how he reacts to this i think it's the most impressive thing i've ever seen so i'm going to show it to him and see get his take on it and you guys get to follow me along with that plus we're going to talk about why now is the best time to stack physical silver, physical bullion, physical silver, and uh, the benefits of doing it right now because you know nobody knows what tomorrow's gonna bring. So I'm on my way over there. Hopefully we're gonna buy some silver, see what kind of deals we can come up with, see what kind of uh, silver he's got, what kind of products he's got. I didn't even call. This is gonna be a surprise visit. I usually call first, but uh, really haven't had time. So we're just gonna go over here. The next time I see you guys, We'll be talking to Phil. All right, so here we are back at uh, Franklin Street Coin talking to Phil, my favorite uh, coin shop owner. <laughs> um, and he uh, has some constitutional silver here and not much else. I mean, what's what's going on, man? I mean, silver's... The fact that um, it comes in and it, it goes right back out. Uh, right. There's as many buyers right now as there are sellers. And it right. it's pretty much doesn't hang around. It's hard for us to accumulate any... Um, a serious amounts of silver because it goes right down. Nice. Yeah, those are nice. all proof. Somebody did sell me a, a roll of proof, um, 90% quarters, and they're all early 60s. Um, kind of a nice nice way to collect silver. Yeah. A little bit. Proof. Carries a slight premium, but not much over just bullion and silver. Right. You well, know. I think I'll take that yeah, too with nice. me today. Um, and also, I have a surprise for you. Okay. Uh, we're going to see it together. I know it takes. it's going to take a lot to impress you because... You know, looking at your shop, you got some very nice, <laughs> very impressive things in here already that you've accumulated over your decades of doing this. So, yeah. but I think I think this is going to impress you. Okay, yeah, we'll see it here in just a second. I want to build the oh, excitement build a little up? bit. We'll look at it, <laughs> but I had, well, yeah, I'll let you see it. So, um, as far as the economy right now, I want to ask you. To, I guess this is kind of going to be more your personal opinion, but I've been asked this a lot in my videos. I mean, are you are you are you seeing there's a difference in the attitude when people coming in uh, wanting to buy silver? Is it more just the same, or are people are there an urgency there that you? I've noticed from my viewpoint, standing behind the counter, I've noticed more of an urgency of the people coming in. I don't purport that there's more of an urgency right. to them, um, so they're coming in thinking there is an urgency to buy silver and gold at this point, and I think that's part of the reason that a lot of viewers, um, including locally here. Um, is ha they're having a hard time finding it because as soon as it hits the counter, there's a buyer ready to buy it, and stack it, or put it in their um, portfolio or whatever they're going right. to do with it. They're, they're buying it. It doesn't stay in, in the store very long. Um, do I think that that's a necessary um, deed right now in terms of, you know, as soon as it hits, somebody has to buy it? I don't think we're to that point yet, but um, for some reason, there's is I've noticed that generally a sense of urgency from buyers that they really want to find it and it's, as long as it's there they're going to buy it and where do they where do they attribute that urgency is it because of maybe the way they see the, the i mean i'm just this is not you know this is just i'm sure it's just speculation at this point yeah. but it, unless they tell you exactly what it is do you kind of get a sense of why that urgency is there for them well the main the main urgency that i hear from uh, customers is the fact that they don't 
like the fact that their assets are sitting in the U.S. dollar right now. They feel that they need something a little more concrete, something that maybe perhaps doesn't have the potential of being um, going down in value. I know that the dollar, U.S. dollar is considered strong right now, but keep in mind its buying potential isn't strong because that would be the opposite of inflation, and we have inflation right now. So the idea of the strong dollar is in comparison to the other currencies of the world. Right. Dollar mm -hmm. strong, we're comparing it to the, the British sterling mm -hmm. dollar, we're comparing it to the Chinese dollar, we're comparing it to the euro. Um, a lot of the things that we typically compare it to, yes, it appears strong, but those countries are also having a time right now in terms of combating inflation right. and um, dealing with the recovery from the 2020 pandemic and things like that. So the dollar seems to be sitting on the top right now, but there's a lot of people that feel uh, that that may last, but the fact that inflation eventually will eat into that dollar, right. and that's why they're buying the silver and gold. They feel that at, at some point silver and gold will start hedging up a little bit because the dollar buying power, everybody sees it going down. Right. And I think a lot of that is is because people, I think a lot of people realize, and I kind of point this out a little bit in some of my videos, that the dollar looks real good now. And it is looking good because other currencies yes. are doing so poorly. Yes. Um, but that, but that's a good point you make right there because it's not just our economy that's suffering. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's paying high gas prices. Yes. Everybody's paying high grocery prices all over the world. Mm -hmm. And so the urgency, I guess, is kind of there for me personally to have something that's kind of outside of the U.S. dollar. Not saying the U.S. dollar is not important. You got to have those. Yes. I mean, nobody's accepting this for gas or groceries right now, but it's good to have because it has value, and you can lock in some of your value, some of your earnings in this, and that way you can be kind of protected from wherever the dollar. Yeah, may I think go. they feel that silver and gold is regardless of where we're headed in the future with the U.S. dollar and, and various currencies, they feel a stability with silver and gold in yeah. terms of putting their, their current into that and just sitting on the silver and gold right now. That that seems to have more of a stable future for them, mm -hmm. for the buyers, than the U.S. dollar does right now, not knowing where the dollar might be headed. That's good. That's a yeah. good point. Okay, so I'm not going to keep you in suspense too much longer. Let's go ahead and, uh, <laughs> and get to it. What we'll do is I'll go ahead and pause this. We'll... we'll um, work out the deal for this or how, how much of this I'm going to take and then we'll we'll come back and I'll show sure. you this uh, the thing again. All right, so here we go with the big reveal. So uh, so I had a friend of mine make this thing right here for me. I kind of commissioned it, but then I gave him a lot of leeway. And, I, um, and if you look at it, it's the Queen's Beast and each one of these corresponds to one, yeah. of, the, yeah. one of the, each one of these beasts here. Points to the one. Points that, to the one that's there, yeah. and uh, the great thing about this thing here that I find so impressive is at night <laughs> it lights up. <laughs> it lights up. If it was dark in here, it'd be really, you know, but it lights up. It's got LED lights all the way around it, and he made this for me. Wow! And this is to yeah. me that is like so impressive. So I know I haven't seen one of these ever, of course, because uh, this was commissioned by me, uh, you know. Um, and so um, it's got the the whole Queen's Beast collection, and with the uh, I think this is uh, kind yeah, of these a, are the a big boys. These city. are the ten ounce guys. Yeah, these are too. the ten ounces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ten ounces. Uh, so that's a hundred ounces, not not even counting the uh, the, uh, the premium. Yeah. yeah, the premium. And then you so also it'll be 110 yeah, ounces this is altogether. probably um, this is these took uh, at least five years to accumulate these yep, sets. Absolutely, it was released two a year, and there's ten of them, so it was at least five years. And I don't know exactly the timeline for that, but it was at least five years to accumulate. And uh, there you have it. And yeah, yeah, sometimes it's all about the presentation too, and this yeah. this really presents well. All right, so this is what I managed to get. I told you I'm going to get that tube of uh, proof, uh, proof um, quarters. quarters there, silver quarters, and that's fantastic. And I got nine Morgans and Peace dollars, so that's going to be the extent of my visit today. Hopefully, you get more silver in soon. I'll be back so. anyway. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, keep stacking. That's what exactly, I'm doing, man. Yeah. I'm going to keep stacking no matter how long. So just, I mean, uh, people keep looking when it's out there, you know, right. it's available, get it. If if you have to wait, then don't feel like right. like you're prepping. Make any 
wrong decisions in terms of overpaying, just wait for it to come through, and right. eventually Absolutely. it will come through. It hasn't it hasn't done much in the last few months, and I don't expect it really to to do anything really up or down uh, okay. from where we're at today. So just be patient. I think eventually it will come through. And, mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to have to have money. That's how this economy works. So there's no better way to protect as far as I'm concerned than with something with intrinsic value. And that's what it is, is really protecting the dollar. I mean, okay. right now the dollar's strong, and like I say, if you're buying uh, foreign currency with the dollar, you're very happy right now because you can buy a lot of foreign currency right. with the U.S. dollar. But what happens when it all sinks, right. uh, then, you know, um, that's when I think gold and silver will start making a, a comeback in terms of, you know, um, advances in the spot price. And obviously the premiums will jump up along with the spot advances. So yeah. I think it's always um, it's always a value to me uh, in terms of putting at least some of the some of your cash into silver and gold just to have it there. Yeah. It may not be the only investment you do, but it should be part of what you do. Absolutely. I yeah. totally agree. Yeah. All right, Phil. Well, thanks a lot, yeah, man. Sure. We'll be back. Um, thank you for uh, looking yeah, at my great, uh, great thing display. and uh, really giving like me your honest yeah. appraisal of that, uh, impression, I should say, of very, that. Very, nice. I like it a lot, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, but maybe we'll make get some more of these made. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I appreciate it. We'll be back. I Thanks, appreciate Phil. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed our discussion today. We talked about a little bit of urgency maybe in the air that some people feel to come down to Phil's shop and buy physical bullion. If you're one of those people and you decide that you want to stack physical silver, please do your research. Stacking physical bullion is not for everyone. And I've made lots of videos to kind of give you guys some idea of what goes into stacking physical silver. And I hope you guys enjoyed that display that was made for me by my good friend, Mike Yox over at Yox Designs. I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can go and check that out. Maybe there's something there that you'd like him to make for you. Anyway, we got more good content coming up. I'm talking to my good friend, Silver5150, next. We got some information we want to share with you guys. And the Silver Chain is rolling. I mean, we're not stopping, man. The future is on its way, and we're not going to wait for the future to happen to us. We're going to meet the future head on, and we're going to be prepared as we can be to face whatever it brings. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.